Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Selamat pagi semuanya, mahasiswa jurusan sastra Jepang, Universitas Bung Hatta. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our class today for our uh, eighth meeting, meeting ke-8 for the English Conversation 2 uh, subject in this hot semester 2021-2022. Di semester ganjil 2021-2022. Still with me, uh, Mr. Uh, Syed. All right, without further ado, because we have time 7.30 until 9 past 10. So there will be two two sessions for this morning. Hopefully that will be enough. I'm going to share with you my PowerPoint for this morning. Um, the first one is this. But before I share the PowerPoint, I would like to send you the link to the Google form. Um, have I sent you the attendance list yet? Apakah sudah saya kirimkan link ke absensi? Sudah. Sudah. Um, okay. All right. Di di mana ya absensinya? Okay. Let's see. We have. We are in. Um, meeting eight. So hold on. Uh, uh, di portal belum ada sir, link. Belum ada di portal. Okay, now I'm going. Awesome. I'm, I'm going to send you right now. I'm making a copy of this. So hold on. It's um, H. Okay. That was the last. The last one for meeting seven. Pertemuan ke tujuh. Sekarang kita pertemuan ke delapan. Uh, here it is. Yang di portal udah. Udah saya buka ininya. Uh, kemarin. Mungkin silakan dicek. 8 November. Okay, all right. Send. Here it is. Copy. Okay, I'm going to send you. This is the. Okay. Link to the attendance. Okay, here. Oops. Uh, okay, itu. Okay, right now that's is the link to our attendance. Silakan diisi untuk yang di Google Form karena nanti yang di Google Form ini akan saya sesuaikan dengan absensi yang ada di portal kampus. All right, so we start our class today. This is November 8, 2021. Uh, Time is running so quickly. I'm going to share. Okay, so this is the material for today. English conversation, meeting age. As you can see, um, the topic is related to unit eight. Unit eight, now this one, finding a job. Subtopics for meeting eight. So we will discuss only two topics for today. So probably we will finish soon before nine, but I need to add a little more supplementary learning materials for the students. Akan saya tambah dengan pembelajaran yang baru, supplementary, from other sources and other websites that might be useful for you to know and to learn. All right, now we see about finding a job. We continue our talk is about applying for a job. Uh, still, you see, this is the picture. We have um, two pictures, uh, sorry, four pictures, one, two, three, and four. Um, we have four pictures. Um, the, the first one is a man standing in front of a per closer to person. <laughs> personal director. And number two is a woman handing over her, I think it's a letter or resume. Number three, you see the picture that the man is, is coming to the, uh, hold on, the office of the personal director. Okay, now this is the pictures. 
we need to see the list of vocabulary that might be related to this uh, topic. Sorry, sir. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Slide-nya belum bertukar, sir. Masih yang di ini. Masih, masih yang, yang di slide pertama. Masih slide pertama. Belum bertukar juga yeah, ya? Belum Oke, okay. okay, hold on. Just let me stop share here for a while. Um, okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Can you see the slide now? Loading, sir. Loading. Uh, sir. Okay, loading. Now I'd like to show udah, you. Sir. Okay, um, the second slide. Bisa dilihat? Bisa, sir. Bisa. Okay, good. Okay, so this is unit eight, finding a job. We will talk about two topics: applying for a job and wages and benefits. Uh, wages and benefits, and we also give you additional or supplementary learning materials to complete your um, learning for today. So the first one, as you can see, we have four pictures. Apakah gambarnya kelihatan? Can you see the pictures? Yes, we can, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Applying, yes, for a, can, sir. applying for a job, we have four pictures. One, two, three, and four. The four pictures are chronologically displayed in this uh, PowerPoint, in this display. There are 26 uh, words that are related to applying for a job. Jadi ada 26 uh, kosa kata yang berkaitan dengan applying for a job. One, two, three, four, and until 26. Can anybody wants to read this word for us? Siapa yang mau baca kosa katanya silakan. Anybody wants to read this? Um, list number one until number 26. Or I will call your name. Saya uh, panggil aja namanya gimana? The first one is um, Dinda Sahida. Coba, you can read these words for us. Yes, yeah. One eh, applicant of a of a label. Availability, career objective, contact, director, force in person, and in person, here, human resource interview, interviewer, job application, job offer, job reference minimum work personal department position 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 position, hmm. position desired position desired 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 mm -hmm. proper Appearance, tongue mm -hmm. recruit, mm -hmm. rec rec recruiter, mm -hmm. recruitment, recruit treatment, requirement, requirement, mm -hmm. resume, starting. Salary, well mm -hmm. qualified, I qualified mm -hmm. work history. Okay, well well qualified. Okay, coba di, di, well di, qualified. Uh, well qualified and work history. 
Oke. Okay. Right, coba diulang. Work history. Work history. Hmm, Oke. Okay. Right, so although this is English language, it doesn't mean that you cannot master it. Um, meskipun bahasa Inggris, bukan berarti kita tidak bisa menguasai bahasa Inggris. Uh, not only you learn Japanese language, you also learn English language. You are very fortunate, sangat beruntung. Okay, now the, the first one is applicant. Applicant ini adalah orang yang melamar pekerjaan. Applicant, availability. Uh, we have career objective, career objective, contact, director, first impression, hire, human resources, interview, interviewer, uh, job application, job offer, job reference, minimum wage, personnel department, position desired, proper appearance, nomor 17 ini penting ini, proper appearance, first impression juga penting, punctual, ini perlu, uh, kemudian recruit, recruit, recruiter, recruitment, ini merekrut, kan sudah diserap ke dalam bahasa Indonesia, menjadi uh, recruit, requirement, uh, resume, starting salary, well qualified, and work history. So these are some of the important vocabulary that relate to applying for a job. Karena berkaitan dengan uh, melamar pekerjaan di negara manapun, di konteks bahasa apapun. Ini perlu berlaku semuanya. Ada interviewer, kemudian ada job application, uh, lamaran kerja, and then we have job offer, tawaran kerja. Dan job reference ini, uh, job reference ini maksudnya berkaitan dengan um, apa? Uh, kita berkaitan dengan pekerjaan kita lamar. Job reference mengacu kepada mana gitu. Punctual ini this punctual means that you are disciplined about your time. And then we have this is ini penting first impression. Look at this person. First impression hmm, ini kesan pertama. Anyway, apakah pagi-pagi jam segini uh, is a bit rush for you? Apakah kelas pagi uh, sangat uh, rush? No, sir. No, okay. It it's uh, there is something different between Our first meeting with today, it's meeting-meeting pertama cukup excited, semangat. Uh, Kesini-kesininya agak banyak diam. I don't know what happened. What's what's wrong? Is there any problem or apakah ada masalah? Hmm? Mungkin karena bangun tidur, maaf. <laughs> bangun tidur. If kalau memang jadwalnya pagi, kalian bisa request, misalnya pindah siang atau sore, fine. I'm okay with that. So if it is early, early in the morning, I don't think it's too early in the morning. It's already eight o'clock. Oke. Okay. Uh, malah justru pagi-pagi itu bagus untuk kelas ini ya, kelas uh, online. It's very good. Abis ini ada kelas lagi. Ada, sir. Ada. Ada, sir. Ada, oke. Okay. Right. Makanya videonya di off kan ya, biar nggak kelihatan bangun tidur. <laughs> All right. So that is the, the the bad side of having this COVID-19 situation with online classroom. Uh, mahasiswa nggak terlalu dekat dengan dosennya, dan dosennya juga nggak terlalu tahu kesiapan mahasiswanya. That is the the downside of having online classroom. Kita apa ya? baru berada pada periode transisi ya dari dari perkuliahan tatap muka menjadi perkuliahan online. So it's not easy but 
We can do it. Bisa kita lakukan ya. If we want to do it. It's uh, now we we come to picture discussion. Um, the question is. Uh, okay, we we answer the question number two. What is each applicant wearing? Are the clothes appropriate? Why or why not? Siapa yang mau bet jawab nomor dua? What is each applicant wearing? Are the clothes clothes appropriate? Why or why not? Siapa yang mau coba? Anyone wants to answer the question? If you are silent, I will be silent. <laughs> use um just formal clothes mm -hmm. okay formal clothes good formal clothes and then what else um are the clothes appropriate are the clothes appropriate appropriate means um, apakah bajunya pantas appropriate no, sir. No. No? Why? Why? Why or why not? Mm. Because the picture in number two, she's not wearing the formal clothes, uh, sir. Okay, good. Picture number two uh, shows that the woman uh, doesn't, doesn't wear appropriate clothes, right? This one. Why do you think it is not appropriate? Why? Open. Open. Terbuka. Oh, open. <laughs> open. Uh, terbuka, ya. Yeah. Okay. Because um, maybe you can say it's not. You can see. It's not for. It's not formal. Um, and then it's too, too sexy. Not for office. Yeah. Okay. When you apply for a job, you need to remember this. Ini berkaitan dengan first impression. First impression. Yeah. First impression ini kesan pertama. Kalau di Zoom belum ada kesan pertama. Whenever you apply for a job or study or going anywhere you are, you need to pay attention to the way you give the first impression to others. Kesan pertama ini yang harus dijaga ya karena di dalam komunikasi banyak orang gagal bukan karena bodoh tapi karena tidak menjaga impression kesan yang baik kalau kesan yang baik sudah ada maka pertahankan kesan yang baik tersebut nah, that's that's the key in when you apply for a job because one day um, we never know what happened in the future. We don't know. Today, maybe you learn Japanese language. Um, when you graduate, perhaps you will work in foreign company. Yang bisa jadi justru akan banyak menggunakan bahasa Inggris. Atau bekerja di perusahaan ya bagian teknologi di Jepang. Even though you can speak Japanese language, but this is important. First impression and proper appearance. Ini dia. This is that is dealing with that. Proper appearance. Penampilan yang proper ini pantas. Gak mungkin kan misalnya kita ke ke kamar mandi pakai peci misalnya atau ke kamar mandi pakai um pakai suntia misalnya. That's 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 irrelevant. Nah, jadi, wear your clothes in appropriate situation. That is the key. <clears throat> and then, 
you need to be well qualified. <clears throat> well qualified means that you fulfill the requirement. Jadi, you who fulfill the requirement, persyaratan yang diminta oleh pekerjaan apa? <clears throat> persyaratan pekerjaan, in my experience, ya, pengalaman saya, ada dua <clears throat> berkaitan dengan hard skill and soft skill. That's what I have told you in the beginning of the lecture. Ada hard skill, ada soft skill. Hard skill can be seen from your GPA or IPK dari IPK di ijazah. Your soft skill can be seen from how you interact with others. Bagaimana kalian berinteraksi dengan orang lain. The way you speak, the way you listen to others, the way you wear clothes. Dan sometimes uh, meskipun kita belajar bahasa asing, kita tidak perlu terlalu menjadi orang atau kultur bahasa asing tersebut. Misalnya begini, saya belajar bahasa Inggris, lalu saya berpenampilan dan bersikap layaknya orang orang Inggris misalnya atau orang Amerika atau orang Australia misalnya. Itu enggak cocok nanti ketika kita berada di Indonesia. Ada uh, yang belajar bahasa sastra Prancis misalnya, karena sangat mencukai bahasa Prancis meniru kultur Prancis dan dibawa pula lah ke di mana dia tinggal. Yang terjadi adalah tidak matching, less communication. Jadi kurang komunikasi. So, ini nanti berpengaruh ke sini. When you apply for a job, remember where you are, uh, remember first impression and then proper appearance and you can, you need to be well qualified to fulfill the requirement. It can be seen from your resume. Dari resumenya. Okay. Um, minimum wage ini honor istilahnya. Honor. Ada yang per jam, ada yang per bulan. Itu salary. Starting salary. And if you work well, you will increase your job. Remember your career objective. Uh, tujuan karirnya apa. Begitu. This is, this is important. And question number... Uh, four, what information would be on each applicant's resume? What information? Informasi apa yang seharusnya ada di resume uh, apa, tiap orang yang melamar kerja itu? Resumenya apa yang perlu ada? What do you think? Biodata, mm -hmm. The first. Yeah, let's education. Mm -hmm. Good. And experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, education, experience. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, skill, skill do you have? Skill, of course. Skill do you have? Mm -hmm. Skill, computer skill, um, technology, or mechanical engineering that you have. Misalnya, bisa mengoperasikan um, Java language, maybe. It relates to your job. Kalau misalnya kalian melamar kerja jadi guru misalnya atau bekerja di perusahaan, you need to remember how to make yourself stand out from the crowd. Stand out from the crowd itu bagaimana membuat diri kita menonjol tanpa downgrading others. Tanpa kita merendahkan orang lain. That's unit, that is the art. Itu seninya. Bagaimana membuat kita menonjol tanpa kita merendahkan orang lain? That's that's a very key. That's one of my experience about that one. Karena waktu saya dulu di interview, konteksnya bukan applying for a job untuk studi lanjut, tapi studi lanjut itu juga pekerjaan karena statusnya sebagai mahasiswa dengan beasiswa. Di interview And the interviewer, yeah, interviewer asked me question about uh, simple things, and I answered. Dan saya jawab wholeheartedly, sejujurnya, uh, tapi tanpa membuat diri saya terkesan uh, terlalu oke okay dan merendahkan orang lain itu jangan. Kita juga harus bisa mengapresiasi kelebihan orang lain agar kita 
memiliki juga kesempatan kelebihan kita diapresiasi oleh orang lain. So it 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 goes balance. You appreciate others, people will appreciate you. When you downgrade others, it means you can be downgraded as well. So it works both ways. Okay. So that's that's a very important for you to uh, remember about that one. And because when you apply for a job, you will deal with your personal director. Personal director ni sama dengan humas atau HRD, Human Resource Department. And this person will hire you for the job. Remember this. How does the personal director feel about each applicant? How does feel about each applicant? Okay, this is you need to um, remember this one. How does? Jadi kultur misalnya begini ada kultur dari budaya-budaya bangsa lain yang kita terapkan nanti di dunia kerja kadang ada yang cocok ada yang tidak misalnya saya suka misalnya yang berbau privacy misalnya you need to remember when you work with others ketika kita bekerja dengan orang lain Not everything should be in private. For example, when you work, it will be spacious. Nah, kalau misalnya kerja di oh, perusahaan-perusahaan Jakarta misalnya, settingan kantornya terbuka. Meja, kursi kelihatan. Kecuali mungkin pimpinan direksi. Kalau misalnya staff bawahan berarti ya harus diberada staff bawahan dulu. Sampai akhirnya naik, naik ke posisi direksi. Seperti itu. So it's one step at a time. One step at a time. Demikian juga kalau di perusahaan di di Jepang saya tahu target oriented, but remember kesejahteraan anda sebagai pekerja juga penting. Not just target oriented. Your individual well being is also important. Makanya perlu ini human resources and position desired. Position desired ini maksudnya lamaran atau posisi yang memang memang kalian inginkan yang kalian kalian suka that's one thing I moved on to the next one after applying for a job now you have to think about wages and benefits what are wages and benefits wages and benefits means um, penghasilan wages or benefits keuntungan yang bisa diperoleh ketika bekerja There are one, two, until twenty-nine. Okay, so can you read this one? Silakan uh, Zakia. Number one until twenty-nine. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Accidental death and dismemberment insurance. Annual benefits package. Be monthly, be weekly, bonus, child care, commission, compensation, <coughs> contract, dental coverage, the dependent coverage, early retirement, group insurance, income, insurance policy, insurance premium, leave of, of absence, leave insurance, Medical coverage, monthly, pet vacation, profit sharing, reimburse, <coughs> reimbursement, remuneration, salary, savings plan, and pet leave. Okay. All right. Thank you, Zakia. Now let me repeat you how to pronounce uh, the words. Kosa katanya. Jadi juga sudah bagus. Namun mungkin di Pelicin sedikit. Uh, the first one is, is accidental death and dismemberment insurance. Ini asuransi kematian accidental kena kecelakaan dan dismemberment ya, kena uh, apa namanya mengalami kecelakaan tunggal atau mengalami uh, kondisi yang parah dismemberment. Number two annual benefits package, be monthly, be weekly, bonus, child care. Commission, nine compensation contract, dental coverage, dependent coverage, early retirement, group insurance, 
income income jadi bukan income income insurance uh, policy insurance premium leave of absence life insurance medical coverage monthly paid vacation private sharing reimbursed reimbursement remuneration salary savings plan and unpaid leave ini istilah-istilah berkaitan dengan wages and benefits misalnya seperti bi monthly bi monthly ini sekali dua tahun bi weekly sekali dua, dua minggu bonus ini kalau kerjanya rajin dapat bonus memang dan sistemnya memang sangat ini ya relevan dengan nilai-nilai agama sebenarnya kalau di kebutuhan karena agama saya Islam kan baiklah upah orang sebelum keringannya kering kalau misalnya bagus dikasih bonus so that's that's a very good imbasnya nanti kepada perusahaan juga karyawan sejahtera perusahaan akan lebih bagus ininya apa prestasinya di dalam bisnis perusahaan manapun itu termasuk juga untuk universitas pada dosen-dosennya misalnya para mahasiswa kemudian monthly ini monthly per bulan And then we have a paid vacation ini liburan tapi dibayarkan oleh perusahaan how nice early retirement ini pensiun dini uh, dental coverage kalau uh, apa sakit gigi and then apa ada yang tidak tahu uh, number 25 sir 28 savings plan savings plan oh, ini sir. oh 25 reimbursement okay so re reimbursement means when you pay with your money first and then uh, the place where you work return your money after that for example for example like me contohnya seperti saya misalnya uh, saya misalnya penghadiri acara konferensi di Malaysia misalnya atau ke Singapura lalu kemudian pakai uang saya dulu proposal saya sudah masukkan kampus misalnya ya jadi saya masukkan dulu proposal saya pergi kemudian pergi ke Malaysia dan ke Singapura pay, pakai uang saya dulu uang saya dulu, nanti bukti-bukti belanja selama perjalanan, baik itu tiket, nginap di hotel, kemudian uh, semuanya lah selama acara konferensi tersebut, lalu saya pulang lagi ke Padang dan tiba di kampus, laporannya saya berikan berapa uang yang terpakai, nanti di, itu dikembalikan oleh kampus. Nah, itu dinamakan dengan reimbursement. Reimburse. Oke, okay, jadi pakai setelah apa ya, kalau mengganti uang nggak bisa itu artinya konsepnya seperti itu. Jadi pakai uang kamu dulu nanti diganti itu namanya reimburse. Biasanya itu dari perusahaan atau dari kampus yang uh, ukurannya menengah menengah lah. Kalau yang ukuran di atas biasanya sebelum anda melakukannya anda sudah dikasih uang dulu. Nah itu dia yang sudah tingkat uh, atas. Tapi tanggung jawabnya lebih besar lagi. And uh, ada lagi yang tidak belum diketahui? What what word that you don't know? Dependent coverage ini dari asuransi, misalnya menanggung anak, istri ini dependent. Dependent ini bergantung hidup mereka kepada suami atau kepada istri. Nah, itu dependent coverage. Masuk ke medical coverage khusus medis, obat-obatan, um, remuneration ini kalau dia mau pensiun insurance um, unpaid leave ini masih kontroversi unpaid leave means misalnya seperti perempuan izin dia melahirkan tiga bulan di rumah untuk menyusui anak ada yang bilang itu unpaid leave unpaid leave ini dia tidak di tidak digaji sama tiga bulan itu tapi sekarang di Amerika sedang mereka sedang mengusahakan untuk dibayar oke okay, so I will continue with session 2 ini zoomnya sudah mau berakhir ini ya Sesuncu. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.